Hey friends, this is Whiskey and Wit. My name's Whitney and in today's video we are doing some new Dollar Tree DIYs that are perfect for fall. They are all buffalo check themed and I cannot wait to share them with you so stay tuned. Up first, we're gonna make some super cute signs for your tiered tray that will go together in seconds. I am not even kidding. So these signs are created with these little frames from Dollar Tree, some scrapbook paper that I already had, and these awesome stickers that Dollar Tree got for fall this year. I really loved the truck and the pumpkin, so I wanted to focus on those. I popped open my frames and then I used the little card that was already in there to trim down my scrapbook paper and I did two different kinds but actually after I ended up putting the black and white in there you'll see I went back and changed it to gray just because it wasn't as busy with the truck on there. But all you have to do is pop the stickers onto the front of the glass and you have a super super cute tiered tray sign that you can pop in a vignette or on a shelf and they look super high end especially because you've got that really cute watercolor truck and just overall motif it's really trendy right now watercolor illustrations so I love this little truck on my pumpkin patch tiered tray and it also goes super well with another watercolor DIY that will be coming up later in this video. Now, if you don't have these stickers, don't worry. I'm currently doing for the next week and a half a giveaway over on my Dollar Tree haul. So I will link that up above so you can check it out. I'm giving away five packs of those stickers. This next one has got to be one of my favorites. I got so excited when I saw these in the store. This little garland is made up of these mini pumpkins that Dollar Tree came out with this year. And when I saw them, I thought these are going to make a perfect garland. And I think a lot of you felt the same way because you commented on my last video that you wanted to see them in a garland or you thought that I would do that. So here I am just obliging. But... I really love how this turned out. So I just took a doll needle and I got this from Michaels, but it makes it really easy to kind of string up beads as well as fabric pumpkins like this. So I just thought, okay, I'm going to use some of these unfinished wood beads I already had in my stash, but Dollar Tree does have wood beaded garlands now. I cannot find them. If you have found them, lucky you. I'm super jealous, but these are from Amazon. I just went through and strung them up in a pattern that I liked with a spacer bead in between and then to finish it off I created a tassel by just using a greeting card because I wanted something a little bit wider than my hand which I usually use to make tassels I wrapped it around this 5 by 7 card 40 times and then I popped off my little chunk of yarn I tied the top to create the base of the tassel then I took a longer piece and tied it around to create the head of the tassel I made sure to double or triple knot this so it wouldn't fall out and then I cut the loops at the bottom, gave it a really quick haircut, and then I tied it onto the ends of my little pumpkin strand. The theme of this video is super simple, quick and easy. This is the first foray into fall, and so I want to make it fun and easy, and hopefully you guys can find these pumpkins because they are super adorable. If you like the look of this and your Dollar Tree doesn't get these or they're picked over, which I feel you, that happens to me sometimes, Hobby Lobby has some really cute fabric pumpkins as well that you can kind of string up like this but if you can find the Dollar Tree ones these are so stinking cute. Up next it is the easiest one in the entire video but I love how this looks. So I have done this in videos before but not for fall decor. I grabbed a Dollar Tree clipboard and some free printables and these super cute ones are all designed by me i absolutely love designing printables and cut files for you guys so these are no different i have a pack of 20 of them for free that are available over on my blog so check the link down in the description head over there and you can download these printables select your favorite one and i just printed these on cardstock but these are so cute if you love buffalo check like me but aren't able to find the right size pumpkins, this is for you. For these, you can use any Dollar Tree pumpkin or figurine that they have on hand. I also grabbed an acorn because I saw this really cute one at Hobby Lobby and I thought I could easily dupe it with Dollar Tree items. So first for the acorn, I took some flat white spray paint and just sprayed the whole thing to neutralize it because that mirrored look was not going to go with my decor. Once it was dry, then I went through with some gray paint and painted some vertical stripes. These I didn't 
space out with tape as I usually do. I just went through and kind of eyeballed it. It was easy with the brush that I had. Once those lines dried, I went back through and did some horizontal lines. I did a strip around the bottom of the bulkier part of the acorn. And then I also did a second row about halfway between the top and the bottom. The key here is to just take your time. And if you have an angled brush, it helps a lot because you're able to get those nice creases and lines. Then my last step once that was dry was to go in with an even smaller detailed brush with some black chalk paint and paint everywhere the lines overlapped and that's going to give you your buffalo check. So if two gray lines intersect, a horizontal and a vertical, paint it black. And you want that detailed brush so you can get that sharp square look. And then I also painted the little stem at the top black. My last step was to add just a little bit of jute twine and this guy is super cute. I think it looks just like the Hobby Lobby one, but mine I made, which I always like as a gold star when people ask where I got stuff. And also it was a dollar. I did the same process for that ceramic orange pumpkin, painted it white, and then I did an orange buffalo check. So the same process as the acorn applies here. Just take a brush where you can get a pretty crisp line, and I did vertical stripes around the outside of my pumpkin. Then I went back through when it was dry and did one horizontal across the center of the pumpkin, one at the top, and one at the bottom. You can also decide how thin or thick you want your check to be, and that will just be dictated by the thickness of your lines that you're painting. When that was all dry, the last step was to just do those intersecting squares like we did on the acorn. I just used a darker orange here, and then I also gave the stem just a coat of brown paint. I also really loved the shape and the lightweightness of these brown pumpkins, but these wood looking ones were not super into my style. So I made those over the same way, but this one I did black and white buffalo check, but the same process, make a grid, paint your areas where they intersect, and you've got some custom buffalo check pumpkins. Now this is something you can also do if you've got pumpkins from years past. If you're changing your color scheme, just spray paint them white and start fresh. Here's another idea for you for that pack of free printables. If you love the look of wood frame signs like I do, this is an awesome Dollar Tree hack. I recently did this in a teacher gifts video and I have a feeling I'm gonna be doing this a ton more. It is so easy. So you're gonna grab an eight by 10 Dollar Tree frame. You wanna make sure it's a thick frame with the wood inside. Pop out all the staples on the back. I just use a flathead screwdriver and some pliers and then sand down the wood because they don't think it's gonna be seen and it's Dollar Tree. So it's not super smooth wood under there. Once you're all sanded, I grabbed some briar smoke stain from Verithane, but you can use whatever color. You can also paint your frame if you'd rather do that. And then to create the actual sign, I just took some Dollar Tree foam board, measured out the size that I needed for my sign, and just chopped it with my rotary cutter to get it so that it wouldn't stick out outside of the frame. Then I took this fall bucket list printable, which I absolutely love. I wanted this for myself and I love it so much. I don't wanna keep it to myself, so I'll share it with you guys. I just used a glue stick to hook my printable, which was printed on cardstock, to my foam board. And then I used a staple gun to hook it to my wood frame. This was so easy and I love this graphic. You could use my printables, you could use somebody else's printables, you could make your own printables, but I love the concept of being able to create these little vignettes with wood signs for literally two bucks. You've got your frame and your piece of foam core, which you could probably make up to four signs, maybe even more with the foam core. And it looks so good with those little signs that we made from the stickers. I really love the look of stacked items in a cloche, but sometimes cloches can be really expensive. So here's a Dollar Tree trick. I took a vase and this little box from the party section and started by painting it with some Waverly antique wax. Now I know Walmart has gotten rid of Waverly, so you can check out the folk art brand. They've got something really similar and I covered both the top and the bottom of my box. Then I took just a little bit, little bit of black paint and dry brushed it around the outside. You're trying to mimic the look of wood here, but not cover it all the way with black. So we just want some dark spots kind of like this, just like some lines, some spots, nothing too crazy. 
Then you're gonna go through and do something similar with some white paint and don't worry, it's gonna look like you're ruining it, but you are not. You are lightening up some different areas so that you can get some contrast for these bases of your cloches. Once your white paint is dry, go back over with another dry brush of that wax and it's gonna take the stark whiteness out of that paint. So it's gonna look a lot more tan, a lot more rustic, a lot more wood-like. So then I decided to go DIY for the pumpkins inside the cloche. You could absolutely throw in those pumpkins we used for the garland earlier. You could use really any of the pumpkins Dollar Tree has, but I decided to use these little foliage branches and just pop off these little pumpkins. I bought these the first trip I made to Dollar Tree when I saw fall stuff because I didn't know what I was going to find this year and really these are the perfect size for this cloche so you could absolutely do this as well. So I've got 12 pumpkins here. I'm going to do eight of them white with chalk paint and then I'm going to do the other four with a orange chalk paint that matches my home decor. Then we're going to go through and do a mini version of what we did on those pumpkins before to create our old buffalo check. So same thing, our horizontal and our vertical stripes for a grid. I did three horizontal and then whatever felt good vertically. And then once that dried, went through with my teeny tiny little brush and did the overlap areas with a black square. This doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to kind of give the faux look of Buffalo check. So I went decently quickly, but you know, that you don't have to spend hours. You could also use a Sharpie if you'd rather do that. I just think the chalk paint is a little bit brighter. Then I just tossed a assortment of my little pumpkins in my cloche. I love that the bottom looks like a faux wood disc. And like I said, you could also toss in some of these mini pumpkins that we used earlier in that Buffalo check. I just toss them in put the lid on top and flip it over. Now, if you don't plan on changing this out for any other season, you can hot glue it or do something to hook it to the base. But for me, I wanna change this out for seasonal decor, so it will be fine as long as it's not in a high traffic area where your kid will hit it. Like this table fin cannot get to it, thank goodness. And so it can sit here in this tray and not have to be hooked down, which I like. What I also love about this is changing out the stuff inside can help it match any of your other decor. Now you didn't think you would make it through a whiskey and wit buffalo check themed video without us using the paint technique. No siree, we're gonna do it on this project. So my Dollar Tree got some of these cutting boards back and so I thought these would make cute pumpkins. I started by staining them with that briar smoke and then giving them both a dry brushing of white paint. This is a little bit between a full paint and a dry brush cause you wanna cover it, but I wanted it to look a little bit rustic. I wanted to see some of the stain come through. So really it's personal preference. You just wanna make sure you get a decent covering or you won't really be able to see the lines too well when we paint the Buffalo check. So the goal here was to do one in black and gray Buffalo check and the other one in an orange. So we're gonna go through and tape off evenly spaced vertical lines like I'm doing here. I just like to use a little piece of that same painter's tape so I know I'm evenly spacing them out. And then I went through with some orange Waverly chalk paint, it's the color pumpkin, and I added some white to it to lighten it up. And then I'm also using a light gray from Arteza on the other side, it's called Koala. So once those first rounds of stripes are done, then you're gonna peel off your painter's tape and put it to the side. Don't get rid of it, but then go back through horizontally or vertically, whichever you didn't do before. So we did vertical, now we're gonna do horizontal. And I like to go through and mark where my tape was. So right now I'm just marking, okay, here's where the white stripes are because you're gonna wanna put your tape directly back where it is. And once you get painting, it's gonna be hard to see where that is. So then I went through with the same paint, same color and painted all of those stripes for both the orange and the gray. So then once those were all dry, I grabbed that tape that I told you to put to the side and I replaced them using my little pencil lines on the painter's tape so that I knew right where everything needed to go. 
And then I took the darker orange or the full octane orange without the white in it and painted these squares. I did the same thing for the other side, but for this one I did gray and then the squares are black for a traditional black and white buffalo check. I like to pull the painter's tape off before it's fully dry, it's personal preference, and I also realized that I needed to go back through and make my squares a little bit darker for my orange, so here I did that. I painted those by hand. Don't follow what I do, make sure your orange is darker when you have everything taped out instead of having to do it by hand. For the top of my pumpkins, these are just scrap tops of paint stir sticks that I cut at a 45 degree angle with my miter box and stained with the same color. And then I went through with just some 220 grit sandpaper. We're not trying to take anything off here. We're just trying to kind of make it a little rustic. And then I cut from some Dollar Tree burlap, some shapes that look like leaves. And then I glued my stems onto the back. I did one horizontally, so like a shorter, chunkier pumpkin, and then a taller, skinnier pumpkin. To create the little pumpkin vines, I just took some wired jute cord, also from Dollar Tree. On one, I wrapped it around a pencil, so it was a lot more like a curly cue, and glued that down, and that one was done. And then I figured out which way I wanted my tall and skinny pumpkin to lay, repeated the same steps. And then for this one, I did my jute cord around a small thing of paint just to get different sized spirals to make it visually appealing. And here they are all finished. These would be awesome in a little vignette on a shelf or if you've got areas in your kitchen, especially because they are cutting boards above cabinets or in a corner. This is cute. The buffalo check gives it character and they are also super light. So if it is in your kitchen and you need to move them for some reason, you can easily do that as well. Well, there you have it, friends, a ton of Buffalo Check DIY inspiration for you to get going on fall 2021. As always, leave me a comment down below and let me know your favorite project in this video. And also, if this is your first time here, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any future Whiskey and Whip videos. I have got a ton of fall DIY inspiration headed your way. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, be sure to check that out in the link down below. I send out periodic emails with updates and new DIY, fin updates, all the fun stuff. So be sure to sign up for that if you're interested. If you loved this video, here are some other videos that I know you will love and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!